Hey guys, what's up? So I want to give a Kawaii Gang notification gang shout out to Shannon Blackman, Rain Carpenter, Naturally Unbothered, and Jasmine Taylor. Thank you guys so much. What is up you guys? Wow, it's been a really long time. It's been about four days since I've posted anything and that feels so strange and for me. I just me. have not been in the mood to film and I've just been really just kicking back. I don't know y'all. But today I was finally like, girl, enough is enough. Like, what? Why are you doing Brand this? Brand new, what is it called? My Little Unicorn Gels. So I was super excited to try these products. Tour. I definitely get this personal touch. Max puts his personal touch on all of these products and you cannot find them on AliExpress. Just look at the packaging of this product, you guys. I posted this on Instagram because I was super excited about it. And I literally said, no one does packaging like Eno Couture and I can stand by that. Like, absolutely no one does packaging like Eno Couture. Look at this unicorn horn. It's just very elegant. It feels nice. It feels heavy. So I'm excited to swatch these and show them to you guys. I just want to quickly show y'all what else he sent me. He sent me these acrylic brushes and they have like this aquarium glitter thing in them. And it's holographic. So beautiful. So when I get back to doing acrylic, I will be using these amazing, gorgeous brushes. He also sent me some of his drill bits and they're pink. Please do not mind my nails. I just took my press on nails off. That's why they're all crusty. It's the glue. But yeah, love those. Um, a nipper, which feels really nice and it's pink. Like everything is pink. He sent me this in my first PR package from him. And I think I showed this to y'all before, but it's just really cute and aesthetic. I wanted to show it again. And this is like the most luxurious, elegant, beautiful packaging I've ever seen. Velvet. This is like the velvet matte top coat. And I think this is an exclusive bottle design and the shiny gel top coat. Like you're not going to find this at other brands. It's amazing. Um, he just sent me tons of stuff. He re-upped me on the cuticle oil. He sent me his um, flash, his, uh, what's it called? This is like the light that they use to like flash cure nails on and stuff. So yeah, y'all, I have so much more stuff from him that I have to try over in this box right here, sitting on my chair. There's like acrylic powders that he sent. I have two poly gels in there. I have a whole range of alcohol inks in there and some more gel polishes. And then there's even more gel polishes right here that I want to try from him that he sent me. So he's extremely generous. And yeah, I just wanted to like put that out there. I felt like it would be disingenuous of me to come on here and just act like, I don't know, like I bought these items. And or I also like, want to make it clear that none of these items um, are sponsored. They're just gifted from Eno Couture. I'm not being paid to show anything. If I didn't want to show these things, I wouldn't really be held to any contract or like be forced to show anything if I didn't really want to. Um, I have yet to swatch these so I think the first thing I'm gonna do is set up my camera and then start swatching these babies and see what they look like and then we'll do a design. So, by the way, have you guys noticed that Eno you know, Couture has come out with XXL square nails y'all? So the first color I'm gonna swatch is number three. So based on the colors, um, like the pictures, it looks like this is some glitters. I'm wondering are these like magnetics or something? I don't know. Maybe not. So this looks extremely sh extremely sheer. This looks like a black holographic. My nails are so horrendous right now. Wow. So I just re-dipped in. I probably should have shaken the bottles because they have been sitting in this box for a while on my floor. So that looks really pretty. That is actually really stunning on camera. I've been filming in 4K like the last couple of videos because my boyfriend like really was like what's the point in having a 4K camera if you're not doing your videos in 4K and ever since he like fixed my computer up I've been able to like render in 4K a lot faster I'm so grateful that he did that for me y'all oh my gosh now I can actually do my 4K stuff like more efficiently he also bought me these cute ass napkins at this Arab store we went to <laughs> Anyways. Oh, y'all, this color, this color, this color, this color, this color. And you know what? I'm really loving the jelly quality of this. This is color number 14, by the way, 
forgot to mention that. I'm really loving that sheer jelly quality, sis. Like, I'm really liking that. Um, okay. I really freaking love this color. I think I'm going to use this one today. And I really love this sheerness. So, she's kind of a winner. Really, really love 14. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to get really good, uh... A really good look at how the colors look true to life because we're in 4k now these are reminding me of those madam glam holographic gels but however like as I'm swatching them they definitely are coming across kind of different I keep forgetting to shake each bottle too I'm kind of a mess right now I'll be honest I'm just not used to filming and this is gonna be a chatty video probably because I just like need to get back into the swing of things and I just need to like talk to y'all okay these are really cute Max you did that sis you really did you really did that I love that they're jelly that's number 10 the baby blue so number 14 number 10 are like my fave because I love pink and blue number five is purple I think. Let me shake this. But being on core has been really not good for me. Like, it's funny because I'm naturally very um, isolated anyways. God, that's so gorgeous. These three colors are like everything to me right now. Wow. Okay. Didn't think I was going to love these so much, but wow. It's the sheerness that does it. It's the sh it's that jelly quality. I'm gonna just keep repeating myself the whole video. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> but yeah. Also being on core, I was like going out almost every weekend with my sister to like Buffalo Wild Wings just to like get a drink or something or like we would go to the mall or we would just go do some okay y'all this color this color is so pretty too this is like a pretty ass blush nudie pink oh my god it's like lilac i like that like even when i'm trying to build it up it's still having that sheerness but it just gives it like more color wow so yeah i hate the fact that i'm like being forced to stay home it's one thing when you choose to stay home but it's another when you're like oh no for real you can't go anywhere you know it's like being a teenager or something and like um what's the word like reverse psychology when you when you know you can't do something you want to do it even more it's like rebellious feeling or whatever this is kind of like a berry shade anyways i'm in a voiceover now I really need to stop trying to talk when I'm swatching because it just like comes out very jumbled and I get distracted by the swatches. But yeah, what I was really trying to say was I didn't expect to be hit so hard with the like core blues or whatever because I'm usually very isolated. I don't really do that much. But recently, like like right before we, we were all kind of like before all the stores shut down and all the restaurants shut down and bars and stuff. I just started coming out of my shell. I just started going out. So I was like getting used to that. I was getting used to like going places and doing stuff more frequently. And then it was just like, boom, no more, you know? But yeah, y'all, during this downtime, I'm definitely going to try to like get back into the swing of things. This is our time to like build our businesses or learn a new skill or whatever. So I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is that we're in this together. By the way, these are all the swatches of all of the colors. I kind of messed them up so they're a little bit nicked, but there they are. They'll be linked down below and I'm just going to use the pink one today. Hey loves, it's the next day. <laughs> it's the next morning. Good morning, guys. I got my pineapple fluff candle from Walmart. Honestly, pineapple fluff, the best. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna try to turn it. Y'all need to try this candle. There's not a lot of candles from Walmart that I actually like, but that one is actually really good. My sister just told me about it when we went to the store yesterday, and I was like, okay. I tried all the other ones. Why not try this one too? And that one actually smells so good. It's actually potent. Anyways, y'all. So, I had to just go to bed last night. I was so tired. 
I was so freaking tired. I left my entire setup on. I left all my lights on. And I just like literally went to the bed and went to sleep. If you guys follow me on Insta, you probably saw the sneak peek of my nails that I posted. And um, usually I don't post sneak peeks, but I just felt like it. I really loved how my nails looked as I was like laying in bed. And I wanted to see like what they would look like in video and in pictures. And they came out super cute. So this is the design that I ended up doing off screen. And I usually will do one hand off screen just to get a feel for what I'm about to do on camera. That way, when I start filming, I can just quickly bust it out and not spend way too much time um, figuring out my look or whatever. So I have the XXL coffin nail stuck on my stand. I'm going to be doing most of the application on the stand. That way I can keep my hands out of the light. All right, so to get this look started, I'm going to paint some nails with Africa White from Model Ones. I'm just doing one layer of this white. It's very pigmented, creamy, and smooth, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're putting a decal right on top of this. These water slide decals from Dippy Cow Nails, um, you kind of do need to put them on top of white for them to show properly. The rest of the nails I'm gonna paint with that shade number 14 from Eno Couture. And I'm just going to keep applying more and more of this color until I like the coverage of it. But I do just really love how jellyish it is or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to cure that in the lamp and then I'll come back and complete the design. By the way, I wanted to say happy belated Easter to anyone who celebrates Easter. Um, this was one of the holidays that I just completely flopped on. <laughs> I just completely flopped. Like I did some Easter looks, but definitely not as many as I was intending on. I just kind of lost a little bit of motivation and definitely being on core has done that. And just like, kind of just even like the state of society, the state of the economy, the state of the world had me really down. I'm sure so many of y'all can relate. It's really hard to see people you know suffering right now in this time. It's just a crazy, it's a crazy time. This is a time that's like unlike anything we've ever seen in history before. Anyways, you guys, but yeah, that's, that's kind of why I was just like, you know what? I can't film right now. I'm not in the mindset to film, but yeah, I'm happy to be back and I am really excited to do some more looks. Um, I got a bunch of these amazing decals from Dippy Cow Nails. She asked me if I had any designs that I wanted her to make, so I gave her some ideas, and then she also did some really cool looks of her own, and I can't wait to show you guys what she made. She just had her baby, so she's not selling the decals at this moment, but definitely stay tuned for that. So I just cut them out, stuck them in the water, then I applied a little bit of McCart foil glue onto those white nails. The foil glue is gonna be really sticky so that when I apply my decals, it can like stick on. So from the McCart Pink Poly Gel Kit, I took that really hot pink jelly color and I'm just gonna blend this down on my thumbnail. So what I'm doing is recreating that kind of like hot pink nail that's on my other hand, except I'm doing it on my thumbnail here. So I'm just ombreing this poly gel down. This set is not, um, super built up with poly gel. I'm using mostly extension gel from Mark from McCart, the clear one to cap the nails today. So to finish this nail, we're going to press some glitters in. These are all the glitters I picked. All of these are from Nail Heaven Supply Store except the flower glitter is from Michaels, the Recollections. And this pink heart glitter is from AliExpress. Um, and this green star cutout is from AliExpress. So I'm gonna have all the rest of them listed. Their names are gonna be listed down below from Nail Heaven Supply Store. And I'll have links to the AliExpress glitter. So yeah, we're just going to press these into the uncured poly gel. So yeah, I'm literally just sticking these glitters on here. And before I put this nail in to cure, I'm gonna put a layer of top coat gel on top of it as well, just to like hold everything down. That's something you're gonna see me do over and over throughout the set is I'm gonna use some sort of base coat or top coat to like go over the glitter because it's very chunky glitter. I'm gonna do that first. And then after that layer cures, I'll come back with the extension gel to fully encapsulate everything. 
I don't always encapsulate this way. Most of the time I do like a lazy girl encapsulation method where I just use topper base coat to go over the nails a couple times. That works too, but just for this set, I wanted the nails to be really smooth to the touch and I wanted them to feel like a true encapsulated nail. So I just pulled the decal out of the water and I slid it off of the backing paper, dried it off a little bit on a paper towel. It doesn't have to be fully dry. It actually helps for the decal to be slightly, still a little bit wet. That way you can kind of slide it around. But think of what you're doing as shrink wrapping or something like that. You're just kind of like, you're just rubbing the decal over the nail. Uh, it's a lot easier to do these on press-ons, but I, I don't know, it might be okay doing it on like an actual finger too. But I like that I'm able to go all the way around the nail. Then you'll take a hand file and file downwards on the edges and that's going to literally make a perfect cut, cutting off all of the excess decal. And that's how you do this method. Like this is the easiest way I've found to do this decal method. I've tried other methods in the past. Um, I do get some ripples and some folds, but it's still like so much better than how I used to do it. And then I'm gonna put the Winx Club logo on the pinky nail. I just applied a little strip of white so that we can see that logo very well. And I'm drying off all of the excess moisture. And then I'm gonna cap these with one layer of base coat gel. Before I send the nails into cure, I'm going to decorate around with some glitter. And I'm kind of using this glitter to kind of hide all of the mistakes, if there are any. So yeah, what have you guys been up to on Quar? What new skills have you learned if you've decided to go that route? Um, I personally... I've just been really relaxing these last couple days and I've been playing Sims 4. Are there any simmers around? I am a long, lifelong simmer since Sims 1. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been playing Sims 4. Sims 4 is not my favorite out of the franchise. I definitely, I think my favorite was Sims 2 PC. It was just the best to me and the music was the best, <laughs> the soundtrack. But um, I got some mods to help like make the game a lot more fun. Uh, so I've been playing that and I have this one crazy ass family in the game and it's like one of the most unpredictable games I've played. It's like my most unpredictable save file. So this is where I'm capping the nails with that extension gel. It's that type of gel that comes out of the bottle this way. And it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be very messy capping these nails. So I'm capping my thumb and the decal nails. Basically any nail that I put glitter on, I'm going to be capping in this way and then curing it. Don't worry about the shape. We're going to file these once they're on my hands. But I just wanted to do all of this on the stand so I don't have to keep having my hand in the light. So yeah, I, I when I made my character or whatever, I didn't know what I wanted her to I didn't know what I wanted her storyline to be, but I just kind of like made her and she ended up being one of those spellcaster sims and I had never played that type of sim before because I don't know the fantasy stuff was not a huge thing for me like I was not really into the vampires and stuff like that but I was like oh well I've never really played this type of gameplay in the sims I never really did the spellcasting thing so it'll, it'll be fun I guess so I ended up getting so invested in that sim like I built her up to be like the strongest spellcaster <laughs> in the entire town and she also has like the romantic aspiration so i've been making everyone like fall in love with her she cheated on her husband she had twins behind his back with someone else and everything it's been very crazy and very dramatic and it's so much fun but yeah that's what i've been up to um <laughs> so this is the french tip nail one of you guys asked me to do some french um show how to do the smile line with poly gel so this is how you do that and this is actually natural pink from gershon i cannot find any of my pink poly gels like nail bed pinks from mccart because i have like this one container that holds all of my poly gels that i own and i think they're like at the very bottom so i just went with gershon natural pink created my nail bed shape and cured it poly gel is so excellent for for like doing french nail bed just the fact that you don't have to be done with it till you cure it so you can just keep messing with it then i'm going to put those glitters straight down that tip and i put those on with base coat gel cured them in place and now that they're stuck in place i'm going to finish capping my nail with the extension gel as well the same as the other nails that i did and i just like using the extension gel typically i would use like clear acrylic but 
even with clear acrylic or clear poly gel i get too many bubbles sometimes i get cloudiness and i just don't have time for that you know i really wish mccart would sell this extension gel in a bigger separate bottle that would be a power move but I don't know. I feel like they're just not going to do it. Like, I, I feel like McCart is just ignoring everyone's requests for separate bottles. I don't know. I hate to say that because they have kind of come through with some separate bottles. Like, they have some colors. So maybe I should not speak so soon. But I want them to do that for this clear extension gel. I think I'm just, I'm just being a whiner. <laughs> so I have just stuck them on my hands. I showed you guys how I did that. I used the McCart nail glue the best nail glue you guys i i'm always impressed with that nail glue um the last nails i did on myself they lasted until literally right before this set i took them off and i didn't have greenies going on under my nails like they were sealed they were sealed down on my nails and i've been washing dishes like crazy i've been cooking like crazy i've been doing so much with my hands and those were super long nails you know so Highly recommend it, and my bling did not move at all either, and I used that glue too. So I'm using my McCart Dust Collector, still going strong, still love it. If you're interested, I did review this dust collector, so I'll have that in the cards. And the same old e-file and drill bit that I'm always using, I'm taking down the bulk first, and then I'll go in with my hand file. I use the Young Nails 100-100 grit hand file. I didn't show the hand filing in this video, but it's my typical just like buffing over the nails, making everything smooth and nice. So yeah, aside from The Sims, I've also been watching some anime. I don't really like many shows this season. I feel like this season's really not doing it for me. There's only two shows that I'm interested in this season. Um, one of them is something about the eighth sun. I don't know the name by heart. And then the other one is called Gleip Gleipnir or something. I'll put them on screen because I'm not good with pronunciation. So here I am top coating the nails with the shiny gel from um, Eno Couture. And this is that really cute bottle I showed you guys earlier. And oh my god, they just look so effing bomb. And I'll cure my hands in the lamp. But yeah, let me know if anyone knows of any shows. Like what shows are you guys watching right now? Um, but yeah, those are the two that have my attention. I kind of, I don't know. Even Gleipnir, I feel like it's a show that I'll probably drop eventually. It looks like it's going to get a little bit silly or just like dumb. But I have high hopes for it. Anyways this is a final result i put on some cuticle oil and i put that glittery lotion from candy coat such a vibe such a mood i hate when i say vibe it just comes out i know like people don't say vibe anymore but i do i do still say that sometimes here and there it just slides out <laughs> anyways y'all this is the final result i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did let me know down below if you're new please subscribe hit that notification bell so that you never miss any updates for me i love you guys all so much thank you so much to all of my patrons and i'll see you guys in the next one love you bye